Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. So, are you guys ready for XRP Plus? Right, so let's get into this. Um, there's been some groundbreaking news going on within the XRP community. And it turns out that there's actually going to be a forking on the XRP ledger, which is going to be for the Zaho network, the Zaho ledger. Okay. And this means that they're basically going to be creating the new token XRP plus. So I'm not going to go through the whole ins and outs of this, but I am going to give you the breakdown of how this has come about and what it means. Okay. And I'm just going to tell you from the beginning. I'm actually not so optimistic about this, if I'll be completely honest, okay? And if I'm going to just tell you why, just completely from the beginning, it's because of segregation. And that's what this kind of feels like. So I'm a bit concerned um, in that sense. Now, I just want to say this from the beginning. I'm not actually knocking the developers for doing this. I actually completely understand why they've done it. I 100% do get it. And it's not necessarily a bad thing in their eyes because as developers, it makes sense as to why they've done this. I just think this is just something that could potentially cause problems if you're an investor in XRP. So let's get into the whole thing of this. Let's break this all down. Here's the situation. You have the XRP ledger, okay? The XRP ledger has been going on for many years. As you guys know, Ripple are the biggest developers and the biggest holders of XRP on the XRP ledger, right? And there's developers who've been wanting to continue to develop the XRP ledger and continue to innovate on this network, right? And one of the things that they've wanted is smart contracts on the XRP ledger. Now, it's been many years now that they've been trying to keep putting this proposal forward to get the smart contracts implemented into the XRP ledger, okay? And for many years, it's just been, I don't know if it just keeps getting rejected or if it just keeps getting stored, like there's never just an absolute decision made kind of thing. So they're just kind of hanging on, waiting for the decision to come through. One way or the other, they've not been able to get smart contracts implemented into the XRP ledger. That's the main take away from it okay and long story short what's happened is the developers have just got frustrated with waiting like they've been asking for many years they've not been getting the answers that they need and they've not been getting the results that they want so they've decided they are going to fork the xrp ledger to create their own network where they can put smart contracts on the xrp ledger for themselves okay so what does this ultimately mean okay so Think about it like this. If you look at Ethereum Classic and you look at Ethereum, okay? Those are essentially two different cryptos, right? If you hold Ethereum Classic, it doesn't mean you hold Ethereum, right? Same as Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. If you hold Bitcoin Cash, you do not hold Bitcoin. It's a different fork. So essentially, it's two different cryptos, okay? And that's where my problem and my concern comes in with this, right? So then if we go to the XRP plus, right? It's not a thing of if you hold XRP, you hold XRP plus, okay? And so the problem that I have here is this. You're going to have many people who hold XRP, right? And then the decision is, what what do you do? Do you go to XRP plus or do you stick with XRP, right? Because what you've got to kind of understand here is what you essentially have now, even though it's ultimately all on the XRP ledger, you ultimately have two competing blockchains now, right? Like you've got the XRP token that you currently hold, but now you've got this XRP plus token, right? Which is going to be doing their own you know apps and stuff like that and developing on that network and if xrp plus rises in value but you're holding xrp your xrp is not going up in value do you see what i'm saying so for example like smart contracts it's an amazing utility right so this whole thing of smart contracts now we can't necessarily be sitting here thinking oh great smart contracts and now on the xrp ledger 
Well, not necessarily, because that's on the Zaho network. It's not on the XRP network. It's on XRP plus, right? So if a load of people start utilizing the smart contracts and a load of people start developing on the XRP plus on the Zaho network, well, that's raising the value of XRP plus. It's not raising the value of XRP. So you get into this dilemma now of, well, where do you go, right? You've kind of got this side here of XRP where you've got Ripple who are doing like payments and stuff like that. And then you've got this side with XRP plus, which are doing smart contracts. And who knows, this whole thing with the smart contracts, it may take off absolutely amazingly, right? It might be that people have been waiting all this time to get a smart contracts enabled platform on the XRP ledger. And so this may be the thing that really does help drive a lot of adoption to XRP plus the Zoho network. It's like you've literally got a two competing blockchains. Now, I'm not saying that the developers are doing this to compete. I think the developers are just frustrated because they want to improve the XRP ledger and continue to build on it and innovate on it. I think they just got tired of waiting and tired of having to get a decision from someone else. So they just say, hey, well, why don't we just make our own network then? I think they've waited long enough and they've got to a point where they just got frustrated and thought, well, we'll just do our own network where we haven't got to an answer to uh, Ripple, for example, right? Now, one of the things I have heard about Ripple as to why they may not have implemented smart contracts before is because, right, okay, like this is the thing with cryptos, right? Each crypto can have their strong use case. And so if you try and put too much into one crypto, it might be a burden, right? So for example, Ethereum is smart contracts, right? That's why Ethereum can't do what XRP does in terms of payments, right? That's why you wouldn't use Ethereum really to do payments because that's really more XRP's avenue. It's going to be a lot faster. It's going to be a lot cheaper, right? So I think the thing is with what XRP can do for payments, it may be that if they implement smart contracts, maybe that will bog down the network a bit and slow down its whole settlement speed and its transaction speed. So maybe that might be what would cause congestion and cause problems. I don't know the full ins and outs. All I know is that it didn't get accepted. And if it didn't get accepted, I'm assuming there must be a reason for that, right? So there's something to this, um, but I don't know what that is specifically, yeah? So, okay, um, one of the things that they've also said now in regards to XRP+, Plus, because let's say you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, I'm, I'm actually quite interested in this XRP+, Plus. this is something that I may want to go over to. So they have got what they call a burn to mint mechanism, which basically means you burn your XRP and then they actually give you however much XRP you have, it's one to one, so it's like for like. So if you've got, let's just say 100 XRP, you can burn to mint all of that 100 XRP and you will then get 100 XRP plus, okay? Now, the only thing I will say about that is you can do that burn to mint to get XRP to XRP plus, but you can't do XRP plus back to XRP. So if you decide to give up all your current XRP to XRP plus, you can't just switch it back over. That's not possible, okay? So it's a one-way street in that sense. So again, you've got a decision to make, right? Now, another thing I think of with this is because the first thing I thought about this is like, okay, well, what a lot of people are probably going to do is they'll probably wait and see what happens with XRP+. Plus. And let's just say XRP+, Plus suddenly just goes skyrocketing in value, right? Let's just say it takes off amazingly because the smart contracts have been implemented and everybody's using it and creating dApps and stuff like that. Well, wouldn't you then just think, oh, the XRP plus is now five, ten dollars. Let me just exchange my XRP to XRP plus real quick and then I'll do a quick sale. I'm assuming they're not going to allow that to happen because, of course, that's I don't know. Like, I can't see them allowing that to happen. So I don't know if there's like a time frame in when you can get it all burnt. It has to be done before a certain time to do the burn to mint. I'm not sure. But. That was the first thing that I thought in my head is because if you've got an unlimited time frame to do that, well, wouldn't it just make sense to just hold your XRP? And then if you just want to change over because the price goes, you know, ridiculously high, you just do the burn to mint later on and then just sell. I'm assuming there's going to be something in place to avoid that kind of thing happening. So, yeah, that was just one of my things that I thought of straight away. But yeah, like like for me, the, the problem with this that I have that makes me so skeptical about it is it's just more segregation, right? Like you've already got, like, think about it like this, right? 
Forget just the crypto community who can be tribal. Just think of the XRP community, how segregated they can be. Like you've got the people who believe like the real like moon theories of like XRP going to like $10,000 and how it can be backed by gold and how the government want your XRP and all this kind of stuff. And then you've got, you know, the more uh, grounded type of people with XRP or, who are holders of XRP but they don't believe those kind of theories. They still think XRP is a great investment, but they don't believe in half the theories that are put out there on Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that. They don't believe the riddlers, you know, the bearable guy and them kind of things, those riddle people who do all these types of uh, pictures and things like that. They don't believe all those kind of theories. And if you think of how segregated the community is with just those two types of people right you've got people who are like calling each other stupid because they don't believe the right type of thing you know they're calling each other idiots and stuff like that because you know they all believe the opposite of each other think of how segregated the xrp community is already and now you've got a whole new fork of xrp so now you can have people who are going to be like oh xrp plus is the one this is the real one that's going to be the real uh, one that takes over and it's way better than xrp and stuff like that. and it's just like oh man like it's it's just like it's gonna cause so much segregation and I, that's the thing that i'm just not looking forward to and you know the other thing is this is as i was saying earlier like if xrp plus takes off I, I don't really see how that benefits xrp like they did say when they released this uh white paper for the zeho network they did say it's, it's going to benefit XRP as a whole. I don't really understand how that's going to be the case because it's not going to, if people utilize XRP plus, it's not going to benefit XRP in terms of price, right? It's two different tokens. So already I'm a bit like, mm, how is this going to be beneficial for XRP? I mean, you could say the XRP ledger ecosystem as a whole, but in terms of XRP, itself the token i i don't i don't see and, and look if anybody knows or, or again if, if i see anything different that where they say this will be beneficial for xrp also great i'm open to seeing that i don't want it to sound like i'm being dismissive here just from the outside looking in right now just from what i've seen so far i don't really see how it's going to benefit xrp and so this is the other thing, right? Let's just say XRP plus does do really well because it's getting smart contracts and stuff like that. Well, that's actually taken away value from XRP, right? Because if XRP had have implemented smart contracts, that would have just benefited the XRP token period. But now that value is going to be benefiting XRP plus. Do you see what I'm saying? So what do you do? Like, you know, let's say you've got just 100 XRP, just as an example. Do you split it and do... 50 xrp 50 xrp plus what what do you do here like it's a hard thing to say right it's a hard call to make and so it, it's just putting people in a very difficult situation so this is why i want to say look i'm not knocking the developers because i understand if you guys have got frustrated with waiting and you've tried to play the game to get to this point and you've just not had no kind of feedback or no success i completely get it so I'm not knocking you guys for it, but just as a holder in XRP, this just feels like it's adding another layer of separation there that we've got to deal with. And now it's like, okay, not only am I an XRP holder, I've now got to decide do I want XRP or XRP plus. You know, now fair enough, you could have both, but it's difficult because you might end up transferring some of your XRP plus and regretting it because it doesn't really go up in value. So then it could be even harder and then you might think, oh, if only I'd have just kept my XRP. Or, on the other hand, you might stick to the XRP that you know and stick to the one that you currently have. And then you start seeing XRP exploding and thinking how frustrated you are with that because you've held XRP for how long? Now this other network's come along that still is ultimately XRP. And suddenly it's getting huge amounts of value that you've been waiting for for years as a holder. Like, can you imagine how frustrating that's going to feel? So as an investor, this is a really difficult situation and I'm really not sure what the right answer is. And I guess there isn't one. It really is just going to come down to what you think on your research and what you want to do. It really is going to be a personal decision. But I understand why this has taken the industry and the community by storm because it, it is a difficult situation now. Like it really is, you know, like how many... 
how many networks do you know that has two different types of tokens like you have got ethereum classic and ethereum but you know people have moved on and maybe that's the thing like this is this is the scary part of it right now i'm talking about a real worst case scenario here but what if you stay in xrp because you're just like well i'm used to this i know ripple have got control of the xrp i'm, I'm gonna stick to what i know what if xrp plus absolutely outshines xrp and takes over <laughs> what what if xrp doesn't do so well anymore and people want to use xrp plus instead now that's a real worst case scenario but i'm just giving you theories of what can happen here like it's all possible right like if you think about ethereum classic and ethereum ethereum classic is now left in the dust everybody's on the new ethereum right do you see what i'm saying so again i'm not saying that that's definitely what's going to happen here because you know ripple have been building out partnerships for years and they've got a strong use case for the xrp token so i would think they'll be fine but I don't, I can't say anything for sure. Like I've always told you before, I'm not a fortune teller, so I can't guarantee what the future holds. Who knows? It's just the fact that this is even a possibility, right? Like we've already had to go through a lawsuit, which created so much uncertainty. And now here we are with an actual split in the networks. And now you've got to decide which fork in the road you want to go down to. No pun intended. Like which way are you going to go? you know it, I, I just yeah i'm a really weary about this and and like i say this is no not to the developers i understand it fair play to you guys that's fine but just as a holder it leaves you with a lot more questions than answers and it leaves you you know in a real difficult situation so just one other thing i just wanted to quickly show you guys this because i found this a bit funny i was looking on x I, I i saw this and straight away i was just like mad this is how you know these riddlers and stuff like that they just it's never going to stop. Look at this. Straight away already, you've got someone called the bearable guy plus, and he's putting bricks plus XRP plus. And I'm just like, oh man, it's already started. And this is what exactly what I mean now, because what will possibly happen is you get the birth of these YouTubers who are XRP plus YouTubers saying, oh yeah, XRP plus is the real chosen coin. That's the coin that's really going to be used by bricks. And that's the coin that everybody's really going to be using for payments and stuff like that. And th this could start a whole nother issue of like people now believing XRP plus is going to overtake XRP. And that brings a whole new load of arguments and debates within the community. Like it just... I'm just getting a headache just thinking about it, man, really. But it just shows you how easy this stuff is to just bring up. Like, literally, only just been announced and already you've got a new guy taking on this persona and trying to push out the, the conspiracy theories straight away and, you know, saying, oh, it's now XRP+. Plus. And it's like, I hope you realise what you're doing here because it's not as simple as just saying XRP+, plus is good for XRP as a whole. It's not. Like, it really is two different networks. So you got to understand when you're staying that you really are making a choice here but you know there's some people who are just doing that stuff for money so i suppose they're probably not going to be that bothered but yeah that that's the real full breakdown and there's my thoughts overall um we'll see as more time comes through about you know what it does and whatnot um and and how things are like i'm definitely interested to hear they said it will be good for xrp as a whole which i'm assuming when they say that they mean like xrp the token as well i'd definitely be interested to hear that and guys if you've done any more research or you've got something that you're aware of just let me know drop a comment because i'm i'm ready to listen i'm ready to to read and you know do my research on this to understand it better i will definitely be doing a bit more digging on this and if you do want to hear more content like this looking into this a bit more then just let me know because I'm, I'm happy to do that if you guys are happy to watch so yeah i'll leave it there but you know what do you guys think about this the xrp plus do you think this is something that's good for xrp as a whole is this something that you're looking to use do you think you might actually use all your xrp to turn into xrp plus now or is this something that you're not very fond of and you do think it's just going to add to separation and segregation and cause more issues in regards to the battle of XRP and XRP plus and things like that? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like and subscribe. But until next time, take care.